Hey everybody, welcome to video five, where we are talking about cost related videos. Now, I know some of you get a little squirrely when we talk about cost because of things um, like E&O or how we can't guarantee pricing or pricing is always different or the much dreaded, it depends. Now, we never wanna say it depends in videos because it makes it sound like we don't exactly understand what we're talking about. However, I do completely and utterly believe agree with you that you cannot give specifics about pricing on these videos because it does depend. However, when we're creating content, no one wants to hear it depends. So please never say that term. All right. That being said, uh, just quick recap. If you don't remember hub and spoke strategy, cost is one of these orange, orange dots, right? So this might be business insurance. This might be uh, plumbing contractors insurance, and this is how much does plumbing contractors insurance cost? Something of that nature, right? This is the hub and spoke model that we talked about uh, at two videos ago, and this is the second spoke, and you can kind of see how that goes just as a recap. But what do these videos look like? So if you go to uh, our former Rogue Risk channel, you'll see that I have two examples here. Um, after being, you know, I was testing different. Um, cover images, although most of them are this blue with an image to the side where I did these goofy looks and points, but it seemed to work. So that's what we did. Uh, Why does business insurance cost so much, right? How much does small business insurance cost? These two videos are almost exactly the same in content, spun slightly differently. This one's a little longer, but we're addressing commonly asked questions associated with cost because that's what people want to know. Just because some price is a Uh, priority does not mean price is the only reason that someone's going to purchase from you or wants to purchase from you. And we need to address cost and people search a lot on cost because they really, what we're trying to do in these videos is give people two main understandings. One, we as experienced professionals and experts in this space, understand what, how the cost is created. And two, give them some sort of reasonable idea of the range that they're going to be in. Because if I am looking for this information, say I'm thinking about starting a small business, I don't know if insurance is a thousand bucks a year or a thousand bucks a month. And giving someone an idea of that range, or at least the major factors that go in so they can start to gauge it in their head, gives them a little bit of peace of mind. And if we come off as an expert in talking about this topic, then we will be a natural selection for that um, individual to then reach out and do their insurance with us, okay? So what are the uh, five components that we wanna talk about or what are the five things we wanna include in a cost video? These are gonna be the components of cost. Uh, And these might actually be different videos, but here are the five things we can cost, the components of cost, how to reduce costs, cost versus value, hidden costs and pitfalls, and cost management. So what might this look like? Uh, I do not think we would want to hit all five of these in one video. These may be separate videos. Particularly, you could probably do components of cost, cost versus value, and cost management in one video. And you could do cost reduction strategies and hidden costs and pitfalls in another video. And now you have two videos related to cost for that particular topic. So components of cost might be something like for plumbing contractors, the main driver of your premium is going to be related to your revenue, to, to how much you're making at a top line. Uh, you might say if you're a contractor, your workers comp is going to be predominantly driven by your payroll. And if you have, uh, if you hit certain triggers, you may actually have an experience modification factor. Uh, we have a video about that if you want to research it, but essentially your experience mod or your claims history and your payroll are gonna be the two main drivers of your workers' comp uh, for commercial auto, right? So talking about the cost, we just wanna give the components of cost, right? What does cost versus value mean being, uh, you may wanna just briefly touch on a topic such as, um, when we think about the cost of our workers' compensation insurance, many people get upset because it feels like the price is always going up or they don't understand how much it, you know, why it has to be so expensive, but think about it this way. What workers comp does for your business is it uh, makes it so that that individual who gets injured cannot come sue your business because your business is providing health and uh, injury related benefits to them, right? Something to that, again, um, you want to, we're not going into every nitty gritty detail. We're trying to give them a high level understanding, but so the value, although you may not want to pay 
thousand dollars a month for your workers' compensation insurance. Trust me, the value to someone falls off a ladder, breaks their leg, and now you got to come out of your pocket for all of that is completely different, right? Additionally, a lot of people will say, and, and I like to talk about this a little bit in cost versus value when it comes to workers' comp, people will, a lot of times who don't understand workers' comp or have never experienced a claim before, may talk about, well, we have health insurance, why do we need workers' comp? And it comes back to the liability. Once uh, workers' comp is in place and paying for those uh, injuries, associated with someone getting hurt on the job, they now have lost the right to come back and sue you for more damages, right? Uh, Unless obviously there's something nefarious going on. So, you know, trying to explain that cost versus value, uh, cost management could be, you know, keeping your claims low and you could get into, if you're working with middle market and larger workers comp, you can get into some of that stuff. If it's, uh, you know, just talking small business cost management, the biggest uh, cost management, two biggest cost management drivers are making sure that your payroll is properly associated and you're not over allocating payroll uh, to your workers' comp premiums. You're not overpaying. And two, you want to make sure you have the right class codes. Those are the two biggest drivers in a small business, right? So, so breaking down these concepts without giving actual pricing is going to set you up as an expert. It's going to answer these questions. Cost questions are some of the most Googled questions associated with our industry uh, and with particular lines of business. And I highly recommend that you create these videos. Guys, this has been the fifth video that we're creating in our 10 video series, cost related videos. Uh, If you're enjoying this and I hope you keep coming back for more, uh, we'll have the next one up coming out in a few days. And uh, otherwise, if there's anything I can ever do for you, please ryanhanley.com. I hope you're listening to the podcast. Got a lot of tremendous guests coming out, uh, writing tons of articles and uh, right now getting back on the speaking circuit. So if you are associated with an event and you're looking for a dynamic speaker, whether it's on leadership and gross related topics, or you want to get into the nitty gritty associated with uh, kind of some of the stuff that we're talking about here, happy to do that for your next event. All right, guys, I love you. I'm out of here. Peace.